What's up squad, my name is ESO and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'll be showing you the fastest way to, to power level your alchemy skill from level 1 all the way to level 100. This is very fast to do and a lot of people don't actually realise that alchemy is one of the fastest ways to make money in Skyrim as well. Now I've created two methods for this guide and the first of which doesn't require you to do any alchemy at all. And in the second method, I will show you the best and most valuable potions to create so that you can sell them for thousands of gold coins and also level up your alchemy skills stupidly fast. I actually suggest using a combination of each method, but I'll talk about that in a moment. But to start off with method one, you're going to want to fast travel to White Run, which is located just here on the map. And once you come through the gate of White Run, you're going to want to head to the Market Square. And there you can find an alchemist shop. And guys, if you've not already, please do make sure you smash that subscribe button so you never miss any of my daily Skyrim Remastered video guides here on the channel. Because I've got tons more content coming up very soon. So head on inside this alchemy shop just here and we're going to speak to Arcada. She actually has the option to train you in alchemy, but you will have to pay her some gold. But don't worry because we're going to get all that gold back in a moment. I've got something for that. I think I can teach you a thing or two. So after you've paid her, she will level your alchemy skill. And you can do this a maximum of five times per character level. So after you've leveled up five times, just exit and then make sure you save the game because then we're going to pickpocket her and we're just going to steal our gold back. This is also a very good way of leveling up your pickpocketing skill at the same time. And of course, if she does detect you, you can just reload the save that you made and then just do it again until you finally get your gold back. You must now level your character up. After you've leveled up, you'll then be able to ask her to train you another five levels of alchemy. And once again, you're just going to pickpocket the gold back from her and then level up your character again and then train another five levels and just so on. Keep on doing that again and again. And that's basically method one. The only issue with this method is that it will only work up to level 75 alchemy. And you will also find that once you reach level 50 alchemy, the training will get rather expensive. So even though you can get the gold back, the issue is actually that you have to have the gold to begin with to actually pay for the training. So now let's talk about method two. For this method, I'm going to be showing you two different potions that you can make, which will allow you to make tons of gold and also level up your alchemy skill really, really fast. So before we actually do the second method, you're going to want to activate the Thief Stone, which is located here on the map at the Apprentice Stones. So once you are here, just activate the stone and this will make your alchemy skill level up 20% faster. And this makes a huge difference with this skill, so it's definitely worth doing. In addition to this, you're definitely also going to want to sleep in a bed that you own, or even in an inn, to get the well-rested buff. This will give you another 10% experience boost for a whole 8 hours in game. So this is definitely worth doing before you batch craft any potions. Because in total that's going to give you an experience boost of 30% which is huge. So first off let me show you where to get the ingredients for the first potion. You can also buy these ingredients but I'll talk about that in a moment. So to start off we're going to need some wheat. Now this is a really common ingredient and it can be found at most farms around Skyrim. For example, there's one here near Whiterun and you can just come here and harvest all of the wheat and don't worry, it doesn't count as stealing. You'll pretty much find farms outside most major cities. So just do a tour around the map and collect as much wheat as you can, just stockpile it all. For the next ingredient, we're going to need to get some creep cluster. This can be found growing in a few areas. One of the best places I find to find it is along the road heading south from Windhelm and then especially around this area near the Atronach stone just here on the map. The root itself looks like this and once picked up it will take about 10 days to respawn once you've left the area. You can just wait 10 days if you want. But you'll actually find some more roots around the area of Kynesgrove which is located here on the map. 
And once you've got these plants, you can actually just plant them at your own house and grow them yourself. The advantage of this is that it only takes three days for them to grow. And then you can just harvest them and plant them again. So the last ingredient we need is a giant toe. This is the hardest ingredient to get, but don't worry because I'll be showing you an alternative ingredient in a moment. So to get this ingredient, you will of course need to kill a giant, and you can find many all around Skyrim in all the giant camps. As you can see, there's quite a few located in different areas on the map. Alternatively though, you can just buy a giant's toe or any of the other ingredients I mentioned from any of the alchemists around Skyrim. You'll find an alchemist at each one of the major cities in Skyrim. And if the alchemist doesn't have one in stock for you, all you need to do is save your game Until next time. and then hit the alchemist and then reload the save that you just made. And then if you ask them what they're selling again, they will have completely new ingredients. Do so mean? just keep doing that until they're stocking a giant's toe that you can buy. That's basically how you reset the shopkeeper's inventory though. So now we've got all of our ingredients and we're going to go over to an alchemy table and combine our wheat, creep cluster and giant's toe into a potion. If you just spam the create this potion, you will level up stupidly fast. You can get to level 100 in mere moments, and obviously the potion that we're actually making is worth tons of gold. So you can actually now go back to the alchemist and sell her this potion, and then use the gold to buy more ingredients to craft more potions. And if she's not selling you the right ingredients, or maybe she runs out of gold, just use the shop reset method I showed you earlier, and that will sort that out for you. Alternatively though, you can just use the gold that you get from selling to her to buy more alchemy training from her as well. Lastly though, I'm going to show you an alternative potion that you can make that does not include the giant's toe. This will still level up your alchemy pretty fast and you won't need to get the giant's toe. So for this next potion, you will need firstly a Chorus Egg, which can be found here on the map in Chillwind Death. Just come here and you'll find over 130 eggs. This is actually probably one of the most common ingredients in Skyrim to obtain. You'll also need to find some Nemera's Rot, which is kind of like a mushroom, and that can also be found here in Chillwind Depths. In fact, there are over 40 here to find. So you can get two of the ingredients at this one location. And I've actually done a walkthrough on this location as well because it is actually quite an interesting one and there's lots of treasure you can find here. So make sure you check out my link to that walkthrough in the description if you're interested. But lastly, we will need the Lunar Moth Wing. This is the last ingredient and it can be found just here on this area of the map, just between Solitude and the Abandoned Shack. It's kind of like a boggy sort of swamp area. But before you go here, you're going to want to wait until the time between 8pm and 11pm because that's when you'll usually find the Lunar Moths. They like to be under moonlight. So just walk around this area and harvest them as you go. They do stand out quite a bit. You can also find them here on the map in the fields near the White Watchtower near White Run. Once again, you'll need to come here at night time though. So once you've got all three ingredients, you can craft the potion from the Lunar Mothwing, Namira's Root and the Taurus Egg. This will of course be a very valuable potion and you'll be able to sell it to make lots of gold. And it also levels up your alchemy skill really fast. It will however level you up slower and is also less valuable than the previous potion where we used the giant's toe. Now if you want to level up your alchemy skill even faster, you can actually get the alchemist perk. At rank 5 this makes the potions you create twice as strong. 
So just put a perk point in this skill as you level up at every single opportunity and it will make you level up faster and also it makes the potions you create worth more gold. Even when you do get to level 100 alchemy, you can still use these potions to keep on making gold. And if you want to level up your other skills really quickly as well, please do check out the description for a whole playlist of power leveling guides for every single skill in the game. And make sure you smash that subscribe button and follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter so you don't miss any of my daily Skyrim video guides. And if you did find this power leveling guide helpful, please do give the video a like so I know to make more of them. But thanks again for watching guys, my name is ESO and I will see you, loyal subscriber, in the next Skyrim video guide. Have a fantastic day and goodbye. Don't forget that you can receive text and or email notifications from my channel every time I release a new video. Underneath the video just hit subscribe and then hit the bell next to it. You will now get notified as soon as I release a new video. Welcome to the ESO squad guys.